Welcome to Flight Test, I'm Josh, and today we have a little bit of switch for you. Josh Scott had to leave a little early, so we brought in a good friend that's gonna be helping editing our, our future videos, and his name is Dave, and you may recognize Dave from a, a previous episode, Behind the Scenes. He was one of the originals. Yes. Yes, thank you for coming back. Oh, it's good, I just wanted to find out some more about find this out. thing. Well, very cool. Well, well, what we're gonna do today, guys, is uh, in the past we've talked about balancing your airplane, and if you remember we say that anything can fly as long as you have enough thrust, lift, and balance. And balance is so crucially important because if you don't balance your plane right, you're not gonna get the uh, behavior you need to sustain flight. And everyone knows that uh, nose heavy, you can still control. And if you've ever watched our vent test, that was probably the one episode where when we tried to balance an airplane, it took the most effort for a nose heavy aircraft. So what did we do here? Did you uh, did you see what we were we were having some fun? Yeah, we, we got a weight back here. Yeah, we, we got a little uh, dangling weight in the back. And uh, for you guys to know, everything is like a lever and a fulcrum, uh, a little weight in the tail, is a lot of weight in terms of CG. And that's because the farther back you go, you have more of a leverage. That's why usually it's harder to find an excessively nose heavy airplane compared to an excessively tail heavy. All right, we got our battery plugged in and uh, I wanna do my best to bring this back in one piece because this is actually one of our favorite episodes where we put retracts on a Trojan and I really don't wanna destroy this airplane. But it does show where sometimes when you modify an airplane, you do switch things like CG. So I think this is a really good candidate to try it out. So uh, what do you say we put it up in the air? Yeah, let's see this thing. All righty. Well, what we'll probably notice here, if it's far enough off CG, is the plane's gonna pitch up violently. You, what you wanna do is you don't wanna counteract that with uh, forcing it down. You wanna also work on your throttle as well, because if you push it down, uh, sometimes it'll reverse snap on you. Sometimes. Not all the time. Everyone's going to be different. So I'm going to be a little cautious of that at first. But let's go ahead. This is a Maiden. I haven't even trimmed this up since I bound it. So we'll see how it flies. Alright, here we go. Let's see what happens. Alright, as you can see, the plane is pitching up violently. But you can also see that it's incredibly pitch sensitive. So are you fighting that back weight right now? Yeah, as, as the plane pitches up and I push down, do you see how it actually forces down with aggression? And you can see the wings rocking? That's what you don't want. And you can see when I give uh, aileron input, and actually any input I put has extreme effects. Instead of aileron having just a crisp roll effect, it actually changes my attitude when it comes to flying. And because of that, that's what's causing the uh, undesirable. Wow. So is there any reason you would ever want weight like that in the back? A lot of 3D pilots will uh, fly with uh, FCG, but it's not desirable. But what they usually use it for is for uh, high alpha. Usually a properly balanced plane is gonna give you the best performance in all aspects of flight, whether it be 3D, uh, but do, people sometimes do have a, a preference on what they want. See how it's almost hanging on its prop? Oh, okay, I can see where that could look like you know what you're doing <laughs> if you're doing uh, some tricks. A little bit, but at the same time, all my other control functions are completely gone. And uh, let me also show you another thing. When I roll this plane upside down, you see how it wants to porpoise around? and kind of come around like that, Yeah, that's a sign of FCG. And as you can see, the wings really don't want to, uh, wow, <laughs> I'm really fighting this right now. The wings really don't want to do their job. They don't want to track straight. It's constantly in the state of me catching one tip stall from another tip stall, mostly to the left. So uh, what I'm gonna try to do is bring this around and uh, land it. Matter of fact, let me keep it in the air for a second longer here and uh, we can kind of decide how we'd best attack this. Bank and Yank may not do it. You may have to counteract and catch things like uh, tip stalls with rudder to keep it flying properly. Uh, one good thing is oftentimes with FCG airplanes, when you back off the throttle and put it in the wind, as long as you're really careful on the elevator, you can get her down safely. But you gotta remember that your pitch uh, is gonna be very, very sensitive. How about we try that right now? What do you say? All right, let's see it. Okay, we're gonna back off the throttle. And I'm actually, see how I'm almost pushing forward on the stick? Well, it's down in one piece and I, I'm thankful for that. I strongly recommend if you can choose soft grass or field over maybe hard hard gravel or, or asphalt, go for the soft grass and field because most likely right when you get in the flares when things are gonna get really ugly. That's when you're trying to bleed up all your speed and that's when the uh, tail heavy issues are really gonna wreak havoc on you. So that plane was 
tail heavy. Is there typically only tail and nose heavy issues or is there ever left and right? Uh, left and right issues do occur and that oftentimes happens on uh, scratch build planes and also build up wings and, and things where you may put a little bit more glue on one side than another. Also many ARS, you never know what one, one person building the wing is doing compared to the other. Now that's, uh, tail heavy is definitely the most nerve wracking uh, panic mode because the plane's going to want to spin on you, it's going to want to be pitchy on you, it's going to want to uh, um, drop a wingtip. All those effectiveness, it affects every control input you have, even throttle because when you change your throttle settings, it changes how the plane flies. So I strongly recommend if you do have a tail air heavy airplane, get it up as much altitude, fight it for altitude, then start diagnosing, okay, at what throttle setting is it most stable? Uh, what control input is it most stable? Where can I hold a steady glide? Once you can establish how you can hold a steady level glide, point it towards into the wind and towards a spot that you can land it on and get it back down. Uh, don't be afraid to take the walk of shame to pick up a plane in one piece because uh, it's much better than trying to put it at your feet and roll it in the ball. Dave, thank you so much for stepping in, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's good to come out here and see some planes flying around. Oh, some thanks. Good. Thanks and good questions too. And, and you're not a, a noob to YouTube either. No, no uh, I'm not. <laughs> you have your own channel. Well, why don't you tell us about that real quick? Uh, it's youtube.com slash noptop and okay. uh, I have a quick effects series, which is a filmmaking tutorial. Okay. Uh, video series it's actually just covering all the behind the scenes just dips and tricks of filmmaking so you've done some pretty cool reviews on on different accessories like what is it the is it the shark clip yes the shark clip was the most recent yes that, that, that's <laughs> one of my favorites i saw that and i think chad actually bought a couple afterwards for holden's gopro so. cool yeah. yeah it was cool well man thank you for coming on the show and, and i want to thank you guys for watching uh feel free to uh chat it up on our forums and also stay active on flighttest.com a lot oh. of really great articles coming uh forward with uh different designs different reviews uh people's tips and tricks on maybe accomplishing like DC power supplies which is a really really great one if you haven't seen that yet and uh, I want to thank Stonecap Productions for sponsoring this episode and uh, just please stay active and I'm gonna go ahead and fix this thing and we're gonna get flying again why do you do that all right, yeah. all right see you next time Did you like that one better? No. <laughs>